Will you stop saying the N word? Hey, it's great to be back. Welcome to Thick Boy Nation. We're the Thick Boys. I'm Tom Zagura. Plus size comedy. Plus size comedy. Double Thick Boys with two C's for that ass. This is Two Bears, One Cave episode three. You're back from Australia, I'm back from Bali, Australia. New Zealand. Oh, World travel. What's Bali like? Oh, Bali's hot. Hot? Dude, I sweat so much in Bali. I mean, I was sweating to the point where we go to dinner and it was pouring down my face and they had spicy food. So I was just sweating to the point where my daughters were embarrassed. <laughs> Fucking embarrassed. Were you, um, are you exotic there? Are they like, wow, he doesn't look like anybody here. Dude, I am exactly, I am, I could be the poster boy for ISIS to go, this is what we hate, why we hate them. <laughs> I went into a market and I was <laughs> I bet you were real quiet too. Like they're all having a nice time in the market. And you're Drunk like, the whole hey fucking- girls, Isla. I go in the market. This, I swear to God, I will. I could call Island Georgia right now, and they tell you this is the worst thing they've ever seen me do. I go into a huge open air market. I've been drinking. We've been uh, we like we went to the monkey forest. I told Isla the monkeys are gonna want to fuck her because she's on her period. <laughs> Isla goes in. She's on her period, and I go. I go, Isla, be careful, man. They can sniff that out. She's like, what? And I go, yeah, the monkeys can smell the your blood. vajay, and they're going to want to fuck you, so be careful. And if a monkey starts fucking her, I said, I'm going to videotape the whole thing, yeah. and you, someone else needs to get help. There's got to be less than five dads that have ever said that to their daughter. I'm, I swear to God it would have been this, Tom. Videotaping Isla getting fucked by a monkey, and then yeah. turn around. Body Shots World Tour. Tickets still available. <laughs> You're the worst. You're the worst. Start in San Francisco in September, <laughs> and in and in Cleveland in November. Dude, I told the girls. I told the girls right away. And so Georgia comes up. She goes, "Hey, do the, are the monkeys really gonna hump Isla if they smell her period?" And I go, "I go no. I, I don't think so." I go, "Why?" And she goes, "I'm on my period too." <laughs> so Georgia was panicking by herself. <laughs> So we go to the monkey forest. We go walk around. There's swath- by the way, they also have the thought that like if this does happen, my dad won't help me. <laughs> and I told them, I said, if a monkey starts fucking attacking me, film it, film the whole thing, film it. and then yell "Body Shots World Tour" at the end. <laughs> That's the new world star, Body Shots World Tour. <laughs> and so, by the way, I would love, I would love if that became the new world star when people got sucker punched. Body shots, Body Shots World Tour. <laughs> so. So then, um, is that what you're going to call the special too? No. What are you going to call it? Shh, the Burke Kreischer story. Really? No. <laughs> I don't know. I wanted to call it uh, unpopular thoughts. That's good. I thought you could do like fuck reparations or something. <laughs> you know, I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to. I'm trying to. They're t- they're talking about bringing it back, in, about actually doing it now. They are talking about bringing reparations yeah, yeah, back. Yeah, I actually. Yeah. I actually am not not bringing it back. Actually, you know, doing uh, it, doing it. I don't think they ever really did it. They no, did they it didn't. to a handful of slaves or uh, former slaves, but they didn't even really. Get, I think they gave them one set of forty acres and one mule. Well, they also, when the presidency switched, they took it back. So they had given some people the 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 land, yeah. and then they, then I forget if it was Johnson, whoever was the the president next after that was like, no, 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 that's wrong. Get all, that back. all I am, I so badly want to talk about this, yeah. but I am anticipating the cut edit someone's going to make of me totally against, I can't even say totally against, I don't, I'm afraid to choose my words yeah. because I know that they're just going to just get fucking threesome fucked into some. Let's, uh, let's keep going. Let's keep talking about it. So how do you feel about reparations? I am completely for reparations. No, I like what Killer Mike said. Why would you say that? No. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. They're people. Oh, God. I like what Killer Mike said. I, the way that the, I'm now bringing Native Americans into this. The you hate that, them too? No, shut oh. up. The way that Native Americans got casinos seems to have worked out, at least in Florida, because like every Seminole, I, I'm, I'm like digging a hole so much fucking deeper. Every Seminole Indian gets $120,000. Now it's going to look like I'm outraged. 
uh, gets $120,000 every year of their life if they're a 100% Sem Seminole Indian. In Florida. In Florida. And so I, Killer Mike said, let's just do that with the weed industry. Let's figure out, we're going to legalize weed. That's, that's coming around the it's, corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, get, let's allow black owned operations to get a foot into that industry before. I'm totally cool with that. What about jazz clubs? I don't see jazz clubs as, as something that's going to take off. <laughs> but yeah, um, but it just gets so fucking confusing because you're like, you know, this is what I'm, I really think. I'm, I'm going to say my genuine thought yeah. based on and knowing that this is going to fuck me in the ass. But there, it's going to divide all of the African-American community because not it only goes to people who can prove they were descendants of slaves. That's true. And so Jamaicans don't get it. Haitians don't get it. So now you're looking at Miami, which is a very multicultural um, black community. And, and it's going to, and it's just like, you think that black people hate light skinned black people. They're going to, it's going to be a fucking shit show. And then, and then how do you do it with white people? Like, is it going to be, I think it needs to be the government giving it to them in, in, a, in with like the marijuana. I think marijuana is a good idea or something in that kind of way. God damn it. I'll fucking <laughs> so regret ever. This podcast is going to be the end of my fucking career. This podcast is going to be more worth more of a headache. I can't even post clips of the podcast because it's all of me going, I'm Hitler. I'm Hitler. <laughs> This is a shit show. I understand you like this, but this I pay for this in blood. <laughs> this is what podcasting was. This is why this we should is... have never done this podcast. Because this is what we did when we when no one ever listened to us. Is we just talk fucking reckless shit. Yeah, this is good. This yeah. is gonna get this is gonna really boost your sales. Do not share this with your friends. Just just watch it and then burn it. <laughs> just, <laughs> I want people, this is what I want. I want people to go, that was a great episode of Two Bears, One Cave, and then smack their phone <laughs> on it. <the> now, <coughs> <coughs> I think I, I understand what you were trying to say. I think it's, it's, it's a fair point. Personally, I mean, I wouldn't get involved. But so, <laughs> so Bali was good. You were sweating a lot. I fucking already want a beer. Have one. Yeah, I, yeah, I might as well. Um, Bali was fucking amazing. You know what I tell you? And I know, like, I'm, I'm even scared to tell you anything. Why? There's swastikas everywhere. How'd that feel? That, <laughs> that did not. Oh, feel. you posted. Or did you post yeah, it? Yeah, I posted them. They were yeah. everywhere. How many did you bring back? I didn't bring any back. No? Dude, I was. Why I was, were there swastikas everywhere there? Because swastika isn't. I'm not going to defend this. I don't know. I don't know. I actually don't know. Oh, you're saying I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, no, because they did. The Third Reich did take. No, no, no. no, no. It's not at all. No, no. I'm saying they did. Take oh, they took the, the symbol, symbol, and you know, obviously, it, it took on another meaning. The, but, but I'm saying it was an existing symbol. It was an existing symbol for the a tribe in. Bali called, oddly enough, called the Aryan tribe or the Aryan group. Really? That's what this, that's what my fucking. Is that why it's that's everywhere my, there? That's what my driver who bro, spoke broken English told me. And he's like, it's not a bad thing. I got one on my back. I got one on my, <laughs> yeah. I got a flag at the house. I kept, I kept pointing them out. I was like obsessed. I was like, oh my God, there's swastikas everywhere. You're like, I feel home. I feel like I'm no, home. So, <laughs> in Georgia. George, and then even Georgia like, like at one time goes, dad, enough with the fucking swastikas. Like, because they were everywhere. And I kept going like, and you know, I've seen them though. I've seen them in places like where you go. How many, how many kids do you think, dad, enough with the swastikas? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was obsessed because I, I didn't realize, I just was like, I was like, in my head, I go, oh, they probably got a bunch of jewelry on for the cheap. And they probably just post like, or just selling it. They don't know what that it is. But uh -huh. They didn't know exactly what it is. It's like on entries into places that, like that's the crest for the gate that opens up that's pretty crazy that they're they're so far removed because you're at like far in the south pacific right yeah. and it's its own island it's almost like a bold thing to be like yeah we put these every we put swastikas everywhere Which, and it's not close enough to like western society where people are going to be like outraged all the time i'm guessing right everyone's probably like yeah okay. there's a really weird comfort in like this is what's crazy about offending people or being offensive. Like if, if I said something fucking reckless about Latinos or something, I would be conscious of it. Cause I know I have, I'd be, I'd be like, I know what that is. I, I was, I was in Australia and I, one of my opening jokes was like, I was watching Aborigine porn this day and everyone's like, what the fuck? And I was like, yeah, it doesn't, it, that doesn't mean anything to me. 
Like or like the, like the god damn it, but like the word pikey, mm-hmm. like you cannot say that. And I was saying it everywhere, and they're like, yeah, that's a racial slur. And I was well, like, for, for what? For uh, t- like a traveling Irish person, like a gypsy. Yeah, like yeah. Well, you can't say gypsy, and so you can't no. say gypsy over there. But I was just like, it doesn't mean anything to me. So I'm, I'm not. I don't feel like any moral weight on that. So, god damn it, this is going to be edited into. They can edit this actually. I would like to see someone edit this into a one-hour propaganda film. Okay. <laughs> well, it's going to happen. I just got the... I, I got and then it. you know what? We could play... The, you could see that propaganda film play, and then at the end, Body Shots World Tour. <laughs> to exactly what you want. God. I, 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 you know what a good sense of humor, if you're a fan of mine, you have to have? What? You have to have a great sense of humor. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Or yeah. be... Super alt right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, what do you think about these Antifa protests? <laughs> Dude, I'll tell you this, man. <coughs> just watch, you know, I know it's sometimes when you, you see a clip online, it's, you know, it's just a moment, but I would be fucking terrified to walk anywhere near. Like those Portland Antifa protests. That shit is terrifying, man. Everybody in masks and goggles throwing fucking concrete milkshakes at people. Dude. It looks nuts. Dude. I was like, shit, I was there, you know, six weeks ago. It's fucking terrifying. Did you see the video of the guy hitting the guy over the head with the steel pipe? Yes. And you're just like, I, here's the other thing. It's like, I, I think that's abhorrent, that f- fucking behavior from the left and the right. Anyone who gets... I can't understand anyone who gets physical, but then what happens to me is I watch the videos of both and I start getting like fantasies of violent grandeur in my head of going like, I'll just fucking, like if they were protesting at my daughter's school, I'd just fucking go and i just start murdering motherfuckers. Like yeah. I, I, I can't believe there are people that are going to, this is obviously this isn't day and date, but that are going to DC this weekend to go and fight, just go and fight. Not yeah. realizing they may kill someone and ruin their fucking life. Yeah, no, you're not thinking of that when you do that. But also just public mayhem, anarchy or whatever. It's just, I mean, when you watch it, you're just like, man. I mean, it almost seems like footage you've seen from on the news from other countries, you know? Like when they have like upright, when the economy collapses in yeah. Athens or whatever. You're like, what the <laughs> fuck's going on? People marching in the streets, smashing out windows. And then you're like, oh, that's Portland right now? That yeah. seems crazy, man. I had to, my, na- my knee-jerk reaction is to, is to empathize with that guy, Andy, no. Uh-huh, yeah. But then immediately, as a comic, you go, all right, what did he, like, what did he do? Like, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I know that he's like a... It, to be targeted. He's just a, con- he, he's a conservative, what, video he's, journalist? And, he's a conservative journalist, but he's a, just to be fair, he's doxed people and he... Right. And he kind of is like very anti-Muslim and he's kind of skewed his journalism into the fake media. A little bit and it's and it's outraged and by the way <clears throat> these antifa people aren't left wing they are like communist anarchists they're not they're not like liberals right they're like right. just the system isn't working for minorities we'll fix it yeah. i mean they're beating up minorities so clearly they're not yeah no it's uh it's pretty wild man do you feel like andy is andy do you know him no do you want to no I want to stay away from toxic people like that. Yeah. Like, cause I mean, not to be shitty about that Andy No guy, but anyone who, <clears throat> I, I don't think I'd ever want to be friends with anyone who dresses in, in fighting gloves and gets their cell phone and a GoPro and a backpack and goggles and goes to an event. Like, I don't want to meet. The, that's the, the, what turns you off his attire. <laughs> no, 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 no. The fact that he geared up for war yeah, yeah. and was like, they got was me. Like, this is my Saturday. Yeah. This has so not my personality at all. Like I just want to have beers and be like, hey, did you guys I gotta tell you this. The one thing the thing that makes me go like this guy's fucking out of his mind stupid is like I'm pretty sure he announced he was going to this. He did. And then they announced we're gonna fuck you up and he was like, Let's see what happens. Like <laughs> so if I if I put a post up that I was like, I'm going to this city and then they're like, We're gonna fuck you up, I'd be like, Guess where I'm canceling my trip to? <laughs> like there's no way I'm checking that shit out. Dude rolling the dice on a thousand people, I'm not doing that. Going into the heart of darkness. I mean they're all You're crazy. They're Just all... to be like, see they got me. And they fucked him up, man. They did fuck him up. That that is Dude, he got he got legit fucked up. He had yeah. like a brain hemorrhage. Had to spend the night in the hospital. My heart breaks for that guy, <clears throat> but then you have to go like, 
not to say like it's you know because there were a bunch of liberals coming out and going like uh this guy deserved it he's a he's a he's a alt-right journalist and then all, immediately people were like, oh, I'm sorry. What were you wearing the night you got raped? Like that, like that's yeah, the mentality. Yeah. So no I'd one rather, deserves to get assaulted. I'd rather see someone get murdered than beat up. Like, I don't know if I can agree with that. <laughs> I just don't like to see like. Oh, I, see, I know what you're saying. The helplessness of it. Yeah, yeah. Like the, like the hopeless assault of someone like cowering as they're kicked and punched it's like just put a bullet in his head dude i had to get i had do you, you ever see the video do you ever see the video the of, tree trimming video what the tree trimming accident no what's that you didn't see that no check this out Watch this oh one. oh my god Have oh my this? god no i didn't see this oh put your headphones on <laughs> oh my god turn your volume is your volume I got it, up? yeah yeah all right Clean cut. Oh my, that is totally something I do. Yeah, like not think it through. Body shots, world tour. Body shots, world tour, dude. <clears throat> that's horrific. No, you know which one I just saw that you were showing someone is the people bike locking their necks to the thing, yeah. and they just turn it on. <laughs> yeah. That made and they're me... like, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you're like, yeah, that's what happens. <laughs> you just you just locked your head onto equipment. What key is it? What key is it? Do you realize if that were like, if that were Eastern Europe, they'd be like, just let them, let it take their heads off. Like just yeah. fucking oh, snap their there's neck. There's so many countries who are like, yeah. no, just kill them all. Kill yeah, them all, kill, get rid kill of everybody. Them. And then get those chickens back in here. Someone get the hose, there's gonna be blood. <laughs> they Dude, wouldn't care. I, can I, I, I have a uh, intrusive thought where I, I, my brain will just say the most horrible, horrific thing of, about, about like instances. And remember that sailing co uh, couple I was telling you I was following? That yeah. Was, I, there was a point where Riley, the dude, it's a, vl a vlog. It's called uh, something sailing the uh, La Vagabond. It's like a married couple with a young child, yeah. like a baby. And, and they spear dive, spear fish, and they It's edited sail. really well. It's really a great, it's, I, I want to buy a sailboat now. I, I watched one and uh, that because you were t posting about it, and mm -hmm. I was like, oh, I can see why somebody would want to do it. I mean, like, it's, you know, those things just look cool. Yeah. And you forget the work involved with like doing that. Dude, I, I remember when I had that vlog for like 60 episodes. Yeah. And it would just become all in, like I went to dinner with you and Push and the whole night I'm filming and you're like, just hang out. I'm like, oh no, this is great content. <laughs> I know. And then Fucking you did my, it so my, much. I did like four and I was like, fuck this. <laughs> dude, it was exhausting. But there's a point, there's one of the ones I saw where he's climbing a rock mm -hmm. and she's like, be careful. And I, I, and Aaron Ralston, the guy who got 126, 10, 127 hours, yeah. had just texted me a video saying I'd cut off my other arm to party with you. He just texted just, you just or, just or DM'd you? D texted me from my one of my buddies is friends with him. Okay. And they were partying and he was like, Bert, I'd cut off my other arm to party with you. And I just seen that and I thought, oh my God, what would you do if... Like just this, this is like the, this is what spun me out when Georgia got I have her. a good marketing idea for you. Okay. Um, he was climbing the rock. What would you do if that rock just un dislodged and took him to the bottom of the sea? Yeah. Do you just swim back to the boat? You can't, I mean, you're not going to help him. Dude, when, when Georgia. Wait, what? With, like if the rock dislodged and just went on top. Crushed and down him? The, yeah. And then you're just sitting there. It would happen in an instant. You'd be like, I got a, I got a great video. You'd be like. Yeah. Like. Body shots world tour. <laughs> yeah. No, it's like when when Georgia, not to be like totally morbid, but and this will come into your head. Hopefully it never does. Remember when Georgia broke her jaw and we had to go yes. in and, and put her under? You were on the uh that other tour. Uh Jameson. Jameson. Yeah. yeah. And so <laughs> they were they couldn't find the vein and they said you need to put gas on her. And she's freaking out so bad. You need to come down, sit next to her, talk her into it calm her down get her to breathe normally and then real quick we're going to put the gas over her face just just you just very gently put it on and i said i go what if she dies and they everyone in the room's like huh i go do we bring the body home with us or do you take care of that and everyone was like 
holy fuck. And then I got obsessed with that. I was like, because I'm not, I'm not leaving my kid in a dentist. That kind of thinking. Yeah. I think like that fucking constantly. I do, I do that too. I do that too. Just, oh, this, that's why I fucking drink. Yeah. Okay. Here's my, my marketing. Trip. I want to hear it. it. All right. So that guy said, I would cut off my other arm to party with you. Yeah. You could actually do what would you do to party with the machine and have people lining, like begging to do it and integrate it into some type of like marketing, come, you know, tie something into it where it's like people submit videos or, or you know, 30 second max, minute max video where they can make it funny. They're creating content for you. And the payoff is like if whoever you choose, you fly out and it, you can build like a, an excitement around hanging out and partying with you. That's you not know? a bad idea, but like what, like what would people do? I'll eat a, a hair sandwich. Yeah, they'll do They'll just like shit in their mom's pillowcase. Like I'll just, shit in my mom's pillowcase. They'll, they'll have, I'll they'll, fuck my sister. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then they go, Bert partied with me. I, I. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I really want to do for real? Yeah. I for real want to go to a 21st birthday of a guy who's never drank. And just and, and kill him? And be there with him his first night. Yeah. Did you ever see that video of that guy in, uh, in Philly that that i did where he brings in balloon like he's it's a it's a fake interview he's doing a character and i'm just doing the helium improv and they, they're like it'll help ticket sales mm -mm. and so it's a fake interview he's it's called he's like the up and comer is what it's called and he comes in it's the funniest thing i've ever i've never I've, oh really dude he's a he's a comic there he's a com he quit comedy by the way he's not doesn't do it anymore but he was a comic he's a local comic and oh, he had God. this idea of doing the up-and-comer oh, where he'd ask what i'm just thinking of oh, man i feel terrible about this. i'm wondering if it's this guy i told one time what he was doing was wrong. pull up the up-and-comer burt kreischer <laughs> the up-and-comer and then he was like oh please, please say you tell ruined me. him because i broke the fucking kid you did that's it to the left let me see. I'm honestly talking to you. No, that's not yeah. him. That's not him. So wait, so wait. One. The store. So hang on. So I'll tell you right now. To, I'll tell you. I thought I'll probably tell the story better than you can watch it. Mm -hmm. But if you go to like, uh, go to like minute 2.30, I'll tell you where it's at. The whole premise is he says, I'm the party animal. I want to party with you. Teach me how to be a comic. You look good there. How long ago know, was that? This is a long time ago. And so... He brings balloons. I have a fear of balloons. Yeah. And so he brings balloons. I'm glad I fucking said that. I'm glad I put that out on there. And so I, and he brings <laughs> balloons and I go, actually, you're freaking me out. I go, I go, I'm gonna have to cut right now and say, if any of you had done any research, you know, I have a fear of balloons. And someone in the back goes, do you want a shot? And I go, yeah, I want a shot. And I go, that's what you could learn. Let's do shots. So we do four shots real quick. And then all of a sudden he goes, actually, I'm gonna have to break right now. I've never had alcohol before. Ever? Dude, watch my reaction. Keep scoot forward, scoot forward. Put your headsets on. Watch my reaction. I'll tell you. Keep going. Keep going. You'll see he'll have shots. Shots in his hand. Keep going. There he is. He's, okay, he's doing a shot. You keep going. Bagley, cheers. Yeah, do it. Taking a shot with friends. Okay. Okay. Let's kill the bottle. Yeah. This is his first. Wearing time. a tie is a lot like being in prison because. Because you're trapping yourself in a persona that you can't live up to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, watch this kid. Okay, it's okay. Hang on, go back, go back a second. There you go. Bike. Because you never forget how to do it. <laughs> okay, watch him. I need to jump out and be honest in this moment. I've never drank alcohol in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how excited I am. Yeah, he looks so happy. <laughs> and by the way, he's doing it with a pro, so like we get done this, yeah. and he goes, what are we doing now? I go, I'm going to bed. This is like 10 in the morning. <laughs> and he goes, what should I do? Wait, I go, press play again. Let's see what he's, I want to see if he's. <laughs> I'm honestly talking to you. Yeah. I'm telling the truth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want that 45 seconds to be my ringtone and I'm gonna always have my phone ring. This That's interview great. was a lot like George Bush's presidency. Because it was just non-stop fun. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers.
Burt Kreischer will be at Helium. He's, fucked up. He's fucking wasted. <laughs> That's hilarious. He's fucking wasted. But I wanted to do a show where I go out and party with people for their first time. And That's a great up. idea. Dude, I've had so many show ideas. You'd have to uh, dial it back for some new, for rookies. They would fucking just puke and oh. <laughs> remember like when we did Buzzed and they're like, oh, we can't do this show. <laughs> Dude, that was the funniest show. That was the funniest thing I've ever been a part of. That was so funny. Bert had a pilot that we shot. We shot it. I wrote on it. Hold on, can I tell you the fucking greatest thing about this? This is when I realized, oh, I want to be attached to Tom for the rest of my life. I brought Tom in as a writer, and he was executive producing it and editing it by the end of the show. <laughs> he, he fired the director. <laughs> he fired the director and turned him into audience wrangler. <laughs> I swear to God. I swear to God. And I was like... I was like, how did you do that? And, and then I went in for the first like writer's meeting and they're like, Tom, you want to take in charge of this? And they're like, yeah. <laughs> first one's lick it or stick it. <laughs> that was so fun. And the best, the, this is how crazy television is. For people always hear like showbiz stuff. The, the show is called Buzzed. It's green lit. Like Comedy Central is paying all of us to make it. He's hosting it. You know, there's, there's production. There's, the premise of the show was I go to a, I go to a bar and I pick people up like Cash Cab and we play a game show, but they've got to be on drunk. On a bus. On a bus. And whatever they blew into the the uh, breath meter, yeah. whatever they blew, they got that, take the point, put a zero at the end, and that was the starting bank. It was so funny. People were and it was, so fucked it's up. It's a game show of people buzzed, right? That's why it's called buzz. And like playing, like there's ridiculous categories and it's just like Lick it or stick it was, we'd show you a picture of a woman, you had to guess if she was a lesbian or not a lesbian. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It was the, that was the that was the ultimate moment in that show. There were, I'll tell you the highlights of that show. The first time we go, have you ever had sex with an animal? And the guy goes, no, yes. And we go, what? And he goes, one time I blew a squirrel. Do you remember that? <laughs> and we were like, uh huh. And everything in that show was. I remember the one time we said to the girls, we had a shit thing where we we're gonna have them put lipstick on with their feet. Yeah. And I go, ladies. I've noticed none of you wearing lipstick. Now it's time for you to apply lipstick. And they go, with our tits? And we go, yep. Yep. <laughs> the best one. Do you know Dude, the best one? Which one? Lick it or stick it. We put up a, a, video, a picture of Jamie Lee Curtis. Yes, I remember this. And the, I go, guys, lick it or stick it. The guy goes, stick it. My dad fucked her. And I go, hold on. I heard she was a hermaphrodite. And he goes... He goes, no, but then again, would my dad tell me he fucked a dude? Probably not. <laughs> and I go, and I'll called. tell you what, for another 500 bucks, get your dad on the phone and let's confirm if he fucked Jamie Lee Curtis. And he goes, okay. So he calls his dad. It's like three in the fucking morning. He's like, dad. And he's like, what's going on? He goes, dad, I'm in on a game show. Quick. Did you fuck Jamie Lee Curtis? And you just hear his dad <gasps> sound asleep go, affirmative. <laughs> we had two Mexicans and we in the, in the, in the fucking thing and they were hammered. Do you remember they were like, they were like, there's no good time to headbutt. That was their catch line. They yeah. headbutted each other. Yeah. And the game was we put up a Latino person and they had to guess if they were Mexican or not Mexican. Yes. And they missed every, every single, one. single one. Yeah, like J-Lo. They were like, she's fucking Mexican. Yeah, Selena. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, it's like, no, dude. That shit was like, it was honestly like the, the pilot was not, it was nonstop laughs and fun. It was fun vibe. It's kind of like, you know what I liken it to now is like when you watch Impractical Jokers and yeah. you're like, these guys are just having a good time, yeah. silly concept. It was like that. We deliver the pilot and Comedy Central, who greenlit and paid for the show, was like, we can't do this show. And we're like, what? And they're like, there's alcohol involved. And we're like, y it's your show. Like you said to do it. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, but I mean, it's, there's too much liability and sponsors are going to be like weary of sponsoring a show revolved around alcohol drinking. And we're like, so that's it? And they're like, yeah, we shouldn't have done this. They did. When, when, they, when, they, when they viewed it, when they viewed all their pilots, they made it last because it was the best one. And they poured a shot of tequila for everyone. And everyone took a shot of tequila and had a drink and watched it and it killed. And then the ad sales guy was like, I can't sell this show. Yeah. Fucking. Really crazy. That's, um, that's TV for you crazy dude. tv six i dude i pitched so many great shows to to diy networks do you remember those i pitched yeah. i pitched um moat crashers where we build every man's house is this castle every castle deserves a moat mm -hmm. we give them a moat uh, a moat would be so awesome wouldn't you love to have a moat uh no more locking your doors you yeah. got a fucking moat yeah dude i'm telling you and we'd get gators dude gotta get gators. do you know how much shit i'd put in my moat i'd have nutrient 
I'd have a, a platypus. Yeah. I'd have gator. I'd have like a whole dude. I really want to turn my backyard into like a fucking jungle. Like yeah. if there was a way, I've been thinking about this about getting like parrots and raising them in my backyard, right? Yeah. Yep. And letting them run around and be free you all around LA, this. but come back to me every night and morning. Yeah. And like be safe. Yeah. I would love that. You I can want, do it. I want little. Are you thinking of moving? <sighs> no. Why? Oh, I don't know. It's like everyone likes our house. Yeah. So, but I don't know. I don't Are you getting know. a car? No, I'm not oh. doing anything with my fucking money. Well, you, you I thought you'd, you'd. I was gonna buy a sailboat. Leanne killed that. I was gonna buy a motorcycle, and then one of our friends got hit by a motorcycle the other day. You know what you should do? You just because just for the how fun it would be, you should get one of those things and just show up with it and have Le and what a motorcycle, motorcycle or a boat. Be like Leanne, let, like let's go to the beach today, and then you just have. Have the boat people pull it up and be like, that's ours. And she'll be like, what the fuck? <laughs> Tom, do you know the fight we got in with her, just me asking her to hold a Tito's bottle so I could try to kick the top off it? You, you know, the, fight about that? You know, she's like, you're not fucking kicking me. I'm not going to get fucking kicked. This is the dumbest fucking idea. No one can do this. And then I couldn't find the video of everyone kicking. Apparently, everyone can kick the top off a fucking bottle. Really? Have you haven't seen those videos? Can you pull that up? Uh, I haven't seen that. Yeah. Everyone's kicking tops off bottles. It's like the ice bucket challenge. Hmm. Bottle cap. I told you about the challenge I wanted to do. It's called the ice carrot oh. challenge. The ice carrot challenge? Yeah. I'll t you watch this and then I'll tell you about ice carrot challenge. So string of celebrities that? attempting. Is that John Mayer? It's John Mayer. Look at that fucking kill face he's got on. He's, he really knows his watch game. Have you ever seen him talk about watches? No. It's other level, man. Watch this. Oh, I see. I so everyone's you. doing it. And by the way, everyone's doing it. No one's failing. Everyone's doing it. Well, that is like, it's, 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 he's got it primed to come right yeah, off. There's Jason know? Statham. That I see, is other level. I want to see someone do this with a pickle jar. Look at Conor McGregor. That's not Conor McGregor. Yeah, it is. What? Yeah. That's Conor McGregor? Yeah, he shaved his beard. Oh. No. Yeah, it's Conor McGregor. Nah. Yeah. Watch. He That's some other Mick. <laughs> See, like you don't have any fear of that of that racial slur because it can't hurt you. Nah, what's this? And I tell those gypsies David, what's up. David Spade did this, but anyway, ice carrot challenge. Okay. Okay. Raising awareness for prostate cancer. You put a, you leave a carrot in your freezer overnight. Okay. And then you shoot it so that it's. The shot is just like to hear, mm -hmm. but you, they, you, they hear you take your pants off, <laughs> okay? And then you bring the carrot up and you're like, hey guys, this is Burt Kreischer. I'm raising awareness for the prostate cancer, prostate awareness month. This is the ice carrot challenge. I tell, challenge Tom Segura, Joe Rogan, Ari Shafir, and Joey Diaz to do this. And then you take it and you shove it up your ass. But, but the whole thing is, do you or don't you shove it up your ass who does the best reaction to like, like put it like, like, oh, it's cold. It's cold. like, it's almost like an acting thing. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. it would be funny to watch people's reactions. Yeah, you're like, oh, it feels so good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Or you just, uh, oh, yeah. uh, but, but you're not really doing it. That was oh, one of my ideas fuck. I was going to do, the ice carrot. Yeah, like, give me another carrot, give me another carrot. Put another one in there. Yeah. Put a third one. Yeah, give me, oh God, oh God. Someone go get the rabbit. Uh, All right. You got any big carrots? <laughs> Oh, that's a good idea. You should do that. Ice carrot challenge. Now they can cut together carrots up your ass with reparations. God. That's the internet though now. It's like we were talking mm -hmm. about that. Like guys who try to get in front of their, their story mm -hmm. and change the narrative of who they are. Yeah. Like we know one guy that doesn't want to mention something about something. Mm -hmm. and, and you're just like, you can't, you can't change your narrative. You just got to let whatever's going to be out there about you is going to be out there. You can't stop it. You're like... Are you going to fucking stop people from posting shit online? Yeah, you have a swastika collection. Big deal. <laughs> you know what's so funny? We were, we were in Italy one time. Yeah. And they had, I mean, we were driving down the street. We're going, we're driving and they just set up on the side of the road. They had Nazi memorabilia, but like legit Nazi equipment. In Italy? In Italy on the side of the road. I looked at it and I was like, oh my fucking God. My director of my show started buying it like fucking crazy and i was like what are you doing and he goes oh, i have a huge nazi memorabilia collection and i was like 
I was like, you're not, by the way, I just said, I have a huge Nazi member. I'm making this so fucking easy. <laughs> Wait, what did, what did you say when he said that? Though? I went, I was like, I go, you're not allowed to have that. And he goes, what do you mean? I go, that's, dude, that's kind of really hor horrific. And he was like, oh no, I'm gay. I can totally have it. And I was like, what? And he goes, yeah, they get persecuted gay. So I do it like more out of like, you know, it's like more interesting, but like, yeah, but I, yeah, I have a huge Nazi memorabilia collection. And I was like, fuck. I was like, I couldn't. I remember one time, never mind. Tell us. <laughs> Come on. I remember going into people's houses in the South and they'd have racist art up. Yeah. And you'd be like, do you remember the, do you remember in Florida, the restaurant, restaurant Sambo's? Uh, no, I think I remember reading about. I I remember reading an article about like the last one closing. Yeah, the last one closed. I, I, I want to say it was in, might have been in Texas. A guy. I won't. You say realize that a lot of people have no idea what that even is. Oh, for real? Yeah. Sambo's was a restaurant, but it was based off a racist child. The book. term, but the term. The, the term is was yeah. The term was basically uh, uh, minstrel art. Is that what it's called? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so. And and you went in there and it was all everything was minstrel art. It was it was racist. It was racist. And they're like, it's good food. What are you yeah, about? Like, come on, guys. This is this is before Denny's was around. Yeah. Like they were like, get pancakes, guys. Pretty good pancakes. <laughs> and so, so I said to, there was a guy who ran a comedy club in uh, in Houston, and uh, is it no? Well, you're not going to find the racist one. So they tried to change the brand. They tried to change the brand and they turned it into a oh, great into, food. Uh, no, yeah, they see they try to change him in, into an Indian kid. They tried to make him Asian. Oh, yeah, they tried to change the brand so they could save the restaurants, and they made him Asian. And everyone's like, "That's not why we're here." <laughs> Come on. So I'm doing a club in Houston, and the owner of the club is like. I was like, I said something like, do you remember Sambo's? And he goes, my dad was the CEO of Sambo's. What? And I was like, are you fucking serious? And he's like, yeah, I got a ton of the artwork if you want some. And I was like, uh, no thanks. <laughs> this is the, the guy in Houston? Yeah, yeah. Was they, was this guy? Was, uh, that guy? No, no, we, that's not the guy that gave, us, gave, gave guy. everyone Coke, right? Uh, Wait, the last yeah. stop? Oh, that guy. Okay. Yeah. I was thinking of the other club where the guy's like, yeah, you know, and he's like, just always drinking and mumbling. And yeah. Yeah. I remember that guy. If you told me he had memorabilia, I'd be like, yeah, I believe you. <laughs> yeah. No, that, that guy. And I was like, what am I going to do with, like, where do you put that? Yeah. <laughs> where do you put that? Where would you put it if you had it? I got a great story to tell you off air. <laughs> Would you put it in your living room? No. no. You got to have like a, it would be your man cave. People would be like, oh man, you guys like your own little lounge here? And you'd be like, yeah, check out all this great artwork I've got. Like, <laughs> this is where I feel really at home, you know? How funny if you just walked in and you're, you're like, like, what do you think? Huh? <laughs> this spittoon, KKK, proud member in good standing. Guys, don't even make the video now. Like, it's not because it's not going to be fun for me to do this podcast because I won't be able to talk. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got to be able to talk. I got to be able to talk. I haven't even said anything hateful, and it's just going to be so bad. Yeah, it's going to be bad. This week on Two Bears One Cave. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I just did the VO for that. Bert, please come back to us, to society. They're just people. Don't you start. We need to start a thing with Tom where it just slowly gets out of control. I just lend into it so well. You're doing great work. Yeah. Mm. This, this, uh, this podcast will be the end of my career. No, it won't. Oh my God. I'm already thinking about the one that we released last week where we were like, let's just say what horrible people say out loud. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there is going to be a great montage. <laughs> Where they can chop up episode one, two, and three together. Oh. And then body shots from both sides. By the way, it is, it's like, it's like, do you ever see Joe talking about, like, you can do that with Joe because he's talked about everything. Yeah, and Joe's talked so much. He's done, like, two, he does five podcasts a week now. Yeah. That, like, they, they've cut together conversations of him with him that are hilarious. Oh. Yeah. Dude, the one, one of the ones they had of where he was talking about 
apes, hairless apes, and they just kept cutting to me. Oh, yeah. I laughed so fucking hard. Oh, yeah, because they're like, look at this fucking thing and this you on that the That thing screen. looks like, that has a mortgage. Yeah. That was the fucking best. Yeah, that is a, the weird part about the internet is that, I mean, me and you have spoken. How many hours do you think you have put out on the internet? Of, of, of speaking. Oh, my God. Oh, I mean, well over a thousand, well up two thousand plus hours. Easily. Yeah. Easily. It's a lot. I know. Days and months worth of, of speaking. Yeah. Yeah. And and then you think, you ever see the one where they did it, where they made, they did they had a computer generated thing with Rogan where it was, God damn it, dude, I'm getting so many fucking, should we take it on the air? What? It's a sales call. Go, go for it. Hang on. Hey, I'm on a podcast. You're being recorded. What's up? Hello? Yeah, is it Albert? Yeah, 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 I'm on a podcast, though. You're being recorded. I'm in the middle of work. I thought I thought I knew you. What? Who's this? Oh, no, this is uh, Jimmy Jones here with the Ramsey Stadium. With the, oh, with the Ramsey Stadium. Oh, dude, you've been... Oh, oh uh, yeah. can, I call, can I call you back? <laughs> can I call you yeah, back? Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, thanks. Okay, yeah, never mind. <laughs> I do know that guy. You do know that guy? Yeah, yeah we're trying to get... Uh, Season tickets? Yeah, well, they're, they're, they're lowering the prices because initially the fucking seat licensing thing was like 50000 a seat. Uh -huh. And no one... Who the fuck has $50,000 to put on a license? Not even the ticket. So they changed it? Oh, they're dropping it a lot. And so now they're like, hey, it's like, what do you think about ten grand? So what are you going to, um, are you going to get, you got season tickets. I have season tickets already. I, I would like to have season tickets, but I don't go to enough games. And I'm touring all the fall anyway. Yeah. It doesn't even make sense. Remember but, we were talking? But you'll do it. <laughs> yeah, but I'll do it. That's the one thing my wife lets me spend my money on. Yeah. I am, all I'm thinking is the edit it of, that's the one thing my wife lets me spend money on. You go, what? Nazi memorabilia. <laughs> <laughs> Nazi. <laughs> Sambo art. I put it in my man cave. Why don't I just say the sentence for you so you don't have to edit it? Yeah, there you go. Just start, yeah. start, top, start clean from the top. <laughs> I, I, you I farted. I farted. <laughs> oh, oh, I am shit. sweating right now. Uh, <laughs> what are you going to do the rest of the day? I have a busy day. I'm going to go do uh, Joe Coy's podcast. Ooh. Yeah, I got to pick up the kid, drop him off, go do Joe Coy's, then go work out, then go home. Then stay home because Christina's doing a spot later. Um, do you ever go, hey, Push, I got this great joke premise. Can you try it on stage and see if it works? <laughs> no, I wish I, I wish I could. Isla told the funniest two jokes. As soon as she told them, she didn't know they were jokes. She was being You're serious. Like, taking that. I, oh, immediately I go, yeah. did you see that online anywhere? Did you hear that? She went, no, it was my idea. And I went, taking it on stage. I'm fucking... The second I said them, they both murdered. And I was like, God damn it. That she's funny, gonna... though. She's really she's funny. She's funny. She's not funny when she's... Tr she tries to be funny. Like, you put no, a camera her on her. natural way is funny. Naturally, she yeah. is so hysterical. Yeah. Last night, they had a fight over ear, 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 AirPods. AirBuds. What happened to your beer? Yeah. Someone goes, I could watch this. I could watch this show every week. Tom just lets Bert get drunk and hang himself. <laughs> They, Isla didn't want Air, AirPods, AirBuds. Yeah, yeah. She didn't want them. I said, why not? She goes, I'll lose them. I said, well, baby, that's no reason not to get something. She goes, no, I don't want that responsibility. I'd rather not have them. So I bought them for her anyways. I buy them for Georgia. I bought a pair for Isla and she loved them and then lost them immediately, right? Yeah, and I lost mine crushed. too. Fuck. So then she goes into her private stash of cash and buys new AirPods, right? Mm -hmm. She goes, like she hoards cash. And so she buys new AirPods for herself and then she finds the other ones and she's like, and so then Leanne buys the old ones from Isla and then we all go to Australia and Isla loses them again. Jesus. And so she goes and grabs Georgia's thinking they're hers and then blames Georgia. Georgia has never lost anything in her entire life. Yeah. And it was a meltdown. It was a meltdown. What I was trying to relate to the girls, because what I don't like is both of them not having something. It breaks my heart right. that they would not. And Isla's crying and George is upset. And I tried to say, well, I was trying to be sincere. And I go, this is why I hate balloons. And they fucking laughed so hard. Everyone stopped crying. 
everyone started laughing at me. They go, this is why you hate balloons. I was like, and then I started crying because I was like, no one's fucking listening to me. <laughs> I have a sincere problem about balloons. And it stems from this shit right here. Emotional leverage. So I can't, by the way, I cannot. Like, I'm, I'm pretty good at keeping my stuff. What I bought. I cannot not lose headphones. I lose so many headphones that now it's part of my airport trip. I, go, I get to the terminal and I go to the electronics store and I just yeah. buy headphones. I lose them on every fucking trip. You know what ends up happening is I'm wearing them when I get off the plane, like when I land. Yeah. And then like you're like, oh, I'm finally home now. And then I never find them again. I yeah. bought 25 pairs of headphones this year. I have uh, seven ha pairs of headphones of wireless headphones because I wash them nonstop. Oh, you keep... I wash them. Can I tell you what is my thing that's driving me nuts about me? I can't not get food on my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking 46. This is, this is so much better for the montage. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stop. If this is the base for my hate. Yeah. I, I can't stop. All I this get, food. I get, all the, I get food on my shirt so much that... We were, we were at breakfast in Fiji and I was eating a croissant and it was all over me and butter had dropped on me and I just went like this and everyone, Leanne and the girls go, who the fuck's cleaning that up? And I was like, huh? Dude, I have, I, the other day I, I got a cheese, double cheeseburger and I just, I just got a double cheeseburger and I ate it over a counter and there's ketchup all over my shirt, <laughs> all over my fucking shirt. I might be the only guy who has Under Armour workout gear that has ice cream on it. <laughs> I get food on me so much. Yeah. I have red wine. Red wine. This, I mean, is all, this is all stained, but I'll tell you, this is stained. Look at this, look at that. These are two stains right here. I just spit on myself. You spit, yeah. The, uh, but you probably remember this. The, now I'm wearing, I only wear clothes that's given to me because these fucking like, little kids all day uh -huh. spit on you, uh -huh. throw shit on you. My son will eat, uh, Ellis, the older kid will eat and then be like, man, that's just, and they walk up to me and go, and oh. clean his hands on. I'm like, all right, man. So, Can I Dude, can I tell you the fucking hardest I laughed? I was in, we were in, God damn it, we were, I don't remember where we were. I think we were in Bali, in Bali, and I was wearing a sweatshirt, and Isla took the top off her, her soda can, and she goes, hey, dad, uh -huh. and I was like, okay, and then she kept going, how about that soda can, dad? I was like, yeah, whatever. So then I fly to New Zealand to do a show. Mm -hmm. I get on the, wake up in the morning in New Zealand to fly to, to Melbourne or wherever. And I put on my sweatshirt and I reach in and that bottle caps in my fucking jet, in my pocket. She had put it in my pocket going, he'll find that later. I don't get a kick out yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah, Fucking. Clever. Dude. Yeah. What should I know about uh, touring in Australia? Uh, well, you got to go there first. Yeah. That's number one. I'm working on it. Dude, they, I did a video about that. Fuck, I, I... forgot. I, I get so many fucking messages. What don't you like about Australians? I love Australia. Have you ever met one? Yes, I've been twice. Been, when did you go? I went in 2011. Oh, you went with Joe. I went with Joe separately. I went in 2011. I did the festival. Oh, and yeah. I also went in 2000. I don't remember with him. So, um, dude, it's, I mean, my experience of Australia is going to be vastly different than yours. Why? Because I go out with them afterwards and I like, I did that in Brisbane. I told everyone, I'm, I'm staying at the Sofitel. I'll meet you there. And everyone just went back to the Sofitel, and it was fucking amazing. You just hung out with them all night? Oh, dude, I'm a honeypot for disease. I take so many pictures with people and just wet hands and just, and then I'm like, next morning. <coughs> I'll be the first comic to get spinal meningitis. No questions asked. No questions asked. I cannot believe you're like, I'm staying at this hotel to a theater of people. Dude, I did it. In, I did it in Melbourne. I told, what is it, like twenty seven hundred people. <laughs> what? I told them, I go, hey, I'm going to this bar. I'll meet you there. There was a line. I, I mean, like there was like a line of like five hundred people, and inside was so fucking packed. And I just stood in a corner, and people just one after the other. I just, I maybe took a thousand pictures, and then and then I got drunk and got up on stage with the band. And I was like, hey, can you play, can you guys play some men at work? And they're like, you know how insulting that is to an Australian band? I come from the land down under. Yeah. And the, and the guy goes, oh, dude, I did this twice. I did this twice. 
I went to a bar one night and I packed it out and I went up to the lady at the end and I go, I had like 200 bucks I was going to tip her. Mm -hmm. I, I, it fucks up their night. I mean, there's yeah. like a thousand people in their bar out of nowhere on a Wednesday night and now they're staying open till 2 a.m. And, and I, I was about to give her 200 bucks and I go, hey, sorry about, you know, fucking... Bringing saying, a thousand yeah, people. Bringing a thousand people. And she goes, they're not here for you. And I went, no, they're only here for me. And she goes, we get like this every night. And I was like, pocketed the money. I was yeah. like... And you just talk yourself out of two hundred dollar tip, you dumb whore. And then, <laughs> and then, uh, and then, and then, and then, when I went to the band, I go, "Hey, can you guys?" I I went and I had the promoter go and see if the band could play that. And they're like, "We don't. They don't know how to play it." And then I went up to them and said, "Hey, can can I play with you guys?" And they're like, "Who are you?" And I was like, "I'm the, I'm the guy who brought the people." And they're like, "No, no." And then I realized, oh they're under the impression they're having one of the best nights of their life like imagine if you're a comic and all of a sudden the place is packed yeah and you're like nice and you're like this is what i'm fucking talking about <laughs> yeah. and then they're like start lighting you on and off you're like hold on i'm murdering right yeah, now yeah yeah and they're like Chappelle's here and you're like oh <laughs> so i went and he was the guy was like no you're not getting on stage with us who are you and i was like i brought all the people and then everyone started chanting bert 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 and you saw it in their eyes like Oh, he's oh, right. Fuck. No wonder there's a th two thousand people in this fucking bar. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. so then I got on stage, and they they were really cool. They played. They changed their whole tune with you. They changed. They went. Yeah, and they played yeah. down under, and they we all sang it together. And they I'm were trying cool to like I'm trying to like imagine myself, just one time doing what you do. Like just I'm trying to imagine whether I would have, just filled with rage or just shut down. If if I was like everybody, let's all go to this bar together, and then I actually went. And saw everybody. Oh, you'd it. love it. You'd love it if you're with me. Maybe if I was with you. We together. should do. We we've always talked about doing a show together. We should do a. We should do a live two bears one cave episode. That's what I'm talking about. Do a live two bears one cave episode. You can wear your Hitler outfit, and I'll. I'll uh... Jesus Christ! <laughs> I gotta lean away from this dude because you know, like you know, and when a bit starts getting you traction, you're like, yeah. well, you have a little more feed to this. And they're gonna be like, dude, uh, you re you realize in Birmingham you uh, really sold out. Do you know what's be presale? <laughs> <laughs> dude, your Mississippi numbers are through the fucking roof. <laughs> Holy shit, man! <laughs> the, the, uh, it's, you know, people in Australia do that to me. They're like, but the, this is what, it's like the racist thing. It <laughs> really, it really does fucking drive me nuts online. Cause of course, because people crazy. post it. Like I took a picture with Big Boy, and people were like putting the n-word in the comments and mm. i'm like ugh, I'm like have some fucking class and so but i do get a kick out of it when it's like a small girl who's at one of my shows by herself and she comes up and she goes i i just got tickets i'm by myself i just wanted to meet the most racist man alive <laughs> i laugh so fucking hard when yeah. it's done properly yeah yeah, yeah. when it's done properly well, it makes me laugh it's, so fucking hard it's the difference between somebody who gets the joke gets a joke or doesn't and, get it yeah yeah it's like and the people who don't get it ru ruin it for everybody else but yeah i mean oh shit all right i'm partying today you are yeah i woke up at three in the four in the morning worked out had you coffee. worked out at four in the morning yeah i was having panic attacks i'm having panic attacks a lot lately what about just dying Really? I was partying pretty hard in australia and then i partied really hard on the flight home do you get physicals yeah i get a physical every nine months and you're I'm fine. fine. I'm fine every okay. time, but um, you partied on the way home. I partied on the flight home way too hard, and then what did uh, you do? Just I I went through. Here's what. Here's where I got fucked. I went through duty free, and they had little uh, like little not a fifth, but like a tiny mm -hmm. bottle of Jameson, like a flask of Jameson of uh, Jack Daniels. And I said to the lady, I said, uh, I'm going to grab one of these. And she looks at me and she goes, are you going to drink it on the flight? And I was like, yeah. And then I was like, give me two. So then, and the, and the beers were just bloating me. I couldn't get a beer. The beer they give me like the um, Red Bull sized beers of Heineken. Mm -hmm. And so I couldn't catch a buzz. And then I was just, I kept drinking and I wasn't catching a buzz and I wasn't comfortable. And I started having panic attacks, panic attacks on the plane. And I was like, calm down, calm down. You're going to be fine. And then I landed and I go out in the pool with Isla for two hours and I have a few cocktails and then I go to sleep at like midnight, wake up at three going like, you're not living a very healthy life. You need to get on the treadmill. And so I got on the treadmill yesterday and then the same thing happened, but I was I was fine last night. We went we went and saw Spider-Man. I go to sleep at midnight, have like a, a few glasses of wine, not a ton. Cause I was like, I, I'm trying to pull back and be responsible. 
and then um, wake up at three again, four o'clock this time. And I'm like, and then I just go, you know, Jocko Wilnink, Wilnink, yeah. Wilnink, he just gets up and works out. I go, I'm going to get up and work out. And then, and this is my, this is like a that little secret time. Savage, yeah. Dude, if I, if I, I used to have panic attacks scuba diving. But if I looked at the camera and played to the camera, the panic attack would go away. Okay. So s sometimes you'll notice that I'll start live uh, Insta storing at four in the morning is so the panic attack goes away. So really? I fucking, yeah. So I just get my phone out and I'm like, all right, I'm going to go, hey guys, I'm going to get coffee. You know, like, and, and that then calms you down. It calms me down. That's I stop thinking about it and That's I go actually, get coffee. It's, it's very interesting insight. Yeah. When, are you still on the, are you on the road this whole year? Yeah. I have most of this month off, which is great. And then, yeah, from basically the last week in July through mid December, I'm, I'm out a lot. Not every week, but yeah. like a lot. Have any more talks about Sober October? No, man. I mean, not really. I, I mean, like, the funny thing is Joe told me that he's like, you know, that was crazy what we did last year. I don't really want to put myself through that. Nobody yeah. in my family liked that. I was like, same, my house was terrible with it. Um, and then I'm like, why don't we try to do something? My whole thing is like, look, man, like, remember last year when we were talking, you were like, I don't know about like, it was like the 29th and you're like, you know, I, I'm starting to feel pretty broken down. And I was like, yeah, we're not, yeah. we're not professional athletes. We're not you, models. I remember calling and I was like almost in tears to you and you were like, hey, remember, you're just a comedian, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. we're comics. So, yeah, it's like people are like, are you going to hit those 20 miles today? I'm like, I don't know. I'm going to fucking get on stage and make goofy sounds later. <laughs> like, yeah. So my thing I'm is I'm not like, getting a lot of material out of this. No, I'm just fucking. I think I have a stress fracture in my leg. What's uh, so crazy about stress fractures? You know what's crazy when your kidneys when your kidneys shut down? <laughs> hey so, guys, you ever go into sleep thinking you're winning a competition, and then wake out and find out you're not? <laughs> God, that fucks with your head, huh? No, it's, it's so it's like what about us leaning into like a fun fucking thing? Like, surfing was a good one. It was good, but it's too it's impossible it's too involved. for us to do. Labor and. Like, Serving was a good one. I like the tactical thing because no one's a fucking, you know, handgun shooting expert. Like that would be fun. Yeah. Um, things like things of that nature where it's like. Spearfishing. <laughs> I'm yeah, obsessed like, with spearfishing right now. Holding our breath. The problem is, um, by the way, uh, I, 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 think, I think you're going in the right direction. I think it's something that would add to our lives. Yeah. And we're, I mean, but it would be cool like, to do the. Like oh, uh, that's who you were nodding to. Let me see. No, no, this is like a, a good. Here, put your headphones on. I don't know if this has music to it or not. Does it? Uh, it's safe to play. It's safe to play. Here. So we, um, for those of you listening, we're uh, we're dialing up um, a video about how to learn how to hip hop dance because that was Bert's initial idea, which I'm a big fan of. But here, this gives you a little bit of of a. Uh, explanation here Go ahead. hey I'm Dina look at my feet my feet are straight ahead you don't want to do that you want to turn your feet out and I'm going to do this backwards Jesus. and that's what makes it look like hip-hop oh that's it that's it hip hop hip. is this hip hop is one this. two three four hit ah and ah the, the more relaxed you are that's what makes a hip-hop that is brilliant I would like her to do every break down everything in life Isn't everything and make everything hip hop? No, no, just everything. Here's the thing about stand up comedy. <laughs> In a hip hop head, we have this boom, bam, every time. Uh, uh, or uh, uh. Your hands are always ah, like this. Always, huh? This is fucking. This is. is a, ah, this is awesome. This is what we call popping. Ah, straight. Ah, straight. I took some of this from an African piece. Oh. Um, in the African piece, it now was Now we're like in Burt's Lane. But in hip hop, it's like this. Oh, See, there's a difference. She's, mm, mm, it's more of an open-handed. Mm, mm, mm. mm. I'm telling you, that contest would be amazing. It would. Joe's, Joe's defense, I wish he had said this on the podcast. He's like, I don't like hip hop music. I don't want to listen to hip hop music all month. He did say that? Yeah, he's like, guys, I don't like hip hop music, so I'm not going to listen to something I don't want to listen to. Did he say that on the air? No, no. he said that to us privately. And we were like, oh, that does make sense. If you don't like hip hop, I don't like country music. I don't want to learn how to line dance. That's true. Can you imagine listening to fucking Garth Brooks all week? Yeah. He's a fucking. <laughs> I just spit all over myself again. He's a fucking psycho, man. There's no way. 
I keep yeah. looking. I keep looking for a fun thing for us to do. I mean, I'm 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 training so so that I'm ready for running. If People it's send running. the craziest messages about it. What you guys should do is a seven tiered course. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? And then they break down. For every 15 miles you run, you get a point. And if you swim backstroke, you get two points. I'm like, dude, this is way too fucking involved. I love those type of emails. I got an email one time about a guy wanting to be my assistant. Mm -hmm. And he was like, here's the deal. You rent a Lambo, okay? You like to drink. I don't drink. I'll just smoke my medicine and we'll get crazy wild in that whip. <laughs> And I'm like, I'm sorry, how, how is this being my assistant? Like, yeah. you're just going to drive me in around in a Lambo? Like, you get to drive a Lambo, and then I, I just get drunk next to you, and you get high as fuck? Dude, some of those emails, that, that should be like a, a book of the fucking crazy emails people send you. Yeah, no, I mean, the, 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 amount, of e the amount of messages I get still, even having pointed out how bad of an idea and how zero, how little interest I have in your engagement and your proposal... And like every week, they're like, I'm going to be at your show. Uh, cool if you bring us up on stage so I can propose. <laughs> Dude, no. Dude. I would fucking bring you up on stage to watch you get beheaded. But I don't want to fucking <laughs> have anything to do. I told you about the time that uh, Stroop brought, did that to me. It's so terrible. Did, you, did I tell you about that? No. So I did, I did one in Virginia Beach and it murdered it was so smart. I brought the guy and girl on stage. I had me and the guy take our shirts off. And then we blindfolded the girl and said, you got to feel our chests and guess which one's your man. And so she's like, okay. So she's blindfolded. Our shirts are off. And then he drops to a knee. The whole place goes, oh. She's like, what? What is going on? Are your pants on? Are your pants on? Drop the blindfold. She starts bawling, crying. He proposes. They kiss. Place goes nuts. That's my show. We're drinking at the bar. Fucking amazing. So Stroop hears about it and he goes, hey man, you're good with proposals, right? I said, uh, yeah, yeah. And he goes, ah, that's what Rick said. Cool, I got a proposal for you. Um, is it cool? I'm gonna sit in front row. And I go, yeah, 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 yeah. So we get up, we get to the thing. He goes, all right, I talked to him. They're all cool with it. Uh, you wanna do it towards the end of the show? And I go, yeah. And he goes, cool. It's the front table right there. And I go, cool. And he goes, oh, and by the way, it's the girls proposing to the guy. What? I went, I went Dave. I go, no, I can't. that's a bad idea. He goes, I already told him it's happening. Like, I, I can't not. I can't tell him it's not happening. It's already happening. And it, like, ladies and gentlemen, Burt Kreischer. So I get up. I'm doing my act. And you know when you have a thought in your head and you can't get your head straight? And the whole time you're fucking up your act? Because yeah. you're going, how the... And the girl's looking at me like, like now? 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 Yeah, yeah. The whole time. So I get towards the end and I go, okay. I'm, I go, okay, come on. Get up on stage. I go, because I, 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 I buy them a shot. And I go, you seem like a fun couple. Can I, let's get you guys up on stage. We'll play a game. And then I'm like, this game's not going to work with a... A dude and a chick. I go, all right, sir, we're going to blindfold you and we're going to take our shirts off. And I'm like, huh, wait, the girls, I'm like, this isn't working out. So I go, hold on, sir, we're going to blindfold you and then we're going to kiss you on the cheek. I, it's just nothing is working out. So I get the blindfold on him, right? I get the blindfold on him. That's all I got to do. And then I look at her. <laughs> and it's, as soon as the blindfold's on, she goes to a knee, and the whole room goes, oh. Oh, yeah. Like, yes. like, 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 oh. Pull his blindfold off. He sees her on a knee with a ring. Everyone's like, oh. And he looks at me, and he goes, nah, fucking cool, dude. <laughs> and then she says, I love you. Will you marry me? And he goes, fine. And everyone's like, oh. So they put the ring on. They kiss. Everyone's like, oh, golf clap. Sit Ugh. down. It was fucking. Ugh. I did it twice. For real? Yeah, years ago. Yeah. So the first time it was forced on me. It was like, you know, you don't sell any tickets. They're like, so there'll be a proposal during your show. <laughs> and you're like, okay. And they, like, they just come up and like, they, it's like the middle of the show. Yeah. And the guy asks her and, and like, you know, I'm like, I go, yeah, congrats, I guess. Like, get the fuck out of here, you know? So get off stage I'm like that was the worst experience i go it totally like derails the show oh. none of us have an interest in their lives oh, it's yeah. just like a fucking theater for like this might as well be applebee's like what are you doing so then the next time they actually it happens a little while later they're like hey there's a proposal and i really like to make it happen and i'm like i have zero interest in that and they're like well you know can we do something And i'm like how about this man how about as my when i say thank you and i'm like saying good night uh you can let the guy 
like, uh, you know, have the guy yell something out and I'll lead him into, like, in other words, I'll, I'll at the I'll, end of my I'll, show, yeah, when I go, thank you. Good night. And the guy goes, whoa, 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 you're yeah, not done. Yeah. 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 Like that kind of thing. And they're like, okay, that'd be cool. So I did it and I hated it. You know, like I, I, I didn't enjoy the yeah. moment. And it's also like, I just feel like it's hijacking. It's not that it's hijacking. Oh, it changes time, the energy. But it's like, what, like, what? You're, you're proposing at a comedy show? Like, you, you know, it's like, it's like proposing at a movie theater or something. Like, it's just like the weirdest <laughs> choice to make. Like, hey, fucking Spider-Man's on. Let's propose. It doesn't make any sense to me. And I, yeah. and I feel like it should be your private thing. Whatever. It's your yeah. choice. I just don't want to be involved. Now, I get fucking six emails a month. Hey, I am coming to the show. How can you, how can you help me propose? And I'm like, dude, like I, I don't want to do this. Nobody at the show. Can you imagine stopping one of those theater shows to be like, uh, hold on row six. Is there a Dave in here? Yeah. Anyway, Dave and there's like 25 Daves. Uh, Is and there then a Dave that there's the proposal. Then they're like, dude, my friend, uh, Jeff, He's coming Saturday. You definitely make fun of him if you if you want. He's in yeah. the second row. Yeah. <laughs> He's wearing a green hat. Yeah. And we love to make fun of him. I'm like, what a Can you light idea. him up? Yeah. Or then also, I'm bringing I'm bringing Steve to the show. If you could give him a shout out. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> how's everybody doing? Steve, you what the fuck are you talking about? Oh. It's I fucking hate them. <laughs> so guys, hit him up at Tom at TomSegura.com. Yeah the uh uh just i'm gonna delete every fucking message i'm not gonna respond uh gary menke one time we were in cincinnati and they were like there's a proposal and i said who is it what and about they a go, birthday hey they go birthday? gary it's, it's new year's eve by the way uh, new year's eve it's the late show gary still doing it stand up yeah i don't know he's a tour with michael buble buble is that how you no. say no yeah for real he's his opening act buble loves him for real the minkster yes wow, i didn't know that Mm-hmm. Sorry. No, going. no, no, no. Menke is Menke was a is was just a real treat of a human. He just was <laughs> such a he was just a such a like he just fucking partied so fucking and yeah when I noticed that you partied. Menke hard, who he booked and did, right? It was oh, he the, booked it and he booked it and then booked himself. Yeah. Like he go, I got you getting And he was the double booking champ. Yeah. So like you would show up and then they're like, who's this guy? And they're like, uh, you're both a middling. We're like, well, how are we both? Middling? Ah, I fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, and he, but he booked himself. I remember he booked yeah. himself to feature for me for New Year's and he, and they go, there's a proposal. And I said, Luke's like, there's a proposal. Luke, by the way, had never come to the club once. He's like, this is my first time at the club at night. I was like, really? The club you own? Yeah. <laughs> and so Luke's like, there's a proposal. I don't know how you want to work that. And I go, no, I got it. I got it. I go, who is it? And he goes, Menke knows. And I was like, okay, Menke will tell me. So then Menke just goes right up on stage. And I was like, well, fuck, how am I going to fucking know? And I was like, I'm sure he'll tell me when we, when he brings me up or, you know, in the switch off. Menke's bombing so bad at New Year's that he goes, all right, fuck it. You don't like jokes? Where's Dave? And he just and the guy goes, I'm a, I, th I thought I'd do it at the end of the show. And he goes, No, nah, you're doing it now, numb nuts. Let's go. And brought the guy up, and the guy's like, oh. in the feature act, in the feature act portion. How's it, Chris, Kristen? I, uh, I love you a lot. And everyone's like, What the fuck's going on? <laughs> they, they get. She says yes. They go dead. And Carrie Mikey goes, All right, let's bring up your headliner. Oh no, the worst. Oh, it's such a fucking nightmare. It's the fucking worst, man. Yeah. Oh, Menke, there was a there was a there's a group of legendary road comics that partied way too fucking hard that like I partied pretty hard, but pretty I pretty hard, but I but I caught I caught steam in the main I got in the mainstream. Yeah, yeah. Where yeah. I got where I got out of the road, but like Menke's one of those road dogs that was like like Ron White. Ron White was a a road guy yeah, yeah, who yeah. just just got caught into that stream and was like, "Yes." But then you look at like Jay Medicine Hat died in the target yeah, no, we talked about it. Did we? We talked about it on this show. Oh, for real? Yeah. I talk about it a lot. Yeah. Dude, uh, Ronald White bought a jet. I'm so jealous. Another one? No, no, no. But I'm just saying, like, how great would it be to have your own and do the road right now? Dude, I just want to... I, I, it, it would change everything about my touring. I would just... I'd get, I'd get done a show and I'd be like, all right, I'm out. You'd go home. I'd go home go immediately. Home. Yeah, it's great. I'd drink just as much more dude private jets are terrifying they bump around so much <laughs> did you ever see the video of louis ck and ricky gervais in a private jet when they think it's going down uh who is it that gets scared of flying louis, louis. and he starts yelling out the worst obscenities you could ever imagine just murdering booze <clears throat> you think he's coming back like in full Ooh, ricky force? gervais yeah definitely no. <laughs>
the Louis. Yeah, of course. Yeah, did you see the did you see the article they wrote about everyone who applauded for him at Skankfest needs to be doxxed? Yeah, I thought wasn't that a is that a parody though kind I, of thing? I can't tell like anymore. It's a, that's what's crazy about what's happening with media is you don't know what's yeah, real or like right. I read that and I was like, okay, this is ridiculous. I thought it was definitely like an onion style article. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, I couldn't I couldn't tell. I was I can't tell. I've, that's the problem is I read an article now and I go yeah, because then you're like, what website is this? Who wrote you this? You gotta guess the I, website. I actually Googled the guy who wrote it, and I was like, wait a minute, is this a real... Wait, is that the guy that wrote all those joke articles and then got kicked off Twitter? I don't know. Where he I was don't like, know. He was it might like, have been. How dare these... Uh, yes, yes, I think it is him. God, that guy's funny as fuck. Yeah, I think that is him. I know, because uh, Louis keeps popping up in the clubs. They don't even announce it. The clubs don't even go like... And they just put it on their site. And, like, and that's and, how scared they are of like you know the backlash they're just like we're just gonna throw it up on the site and the just, people who people will find it skank fest apologized for louis they booked skank fest oh you mean the venue the venue yeah, the venue yeah. said we apologize what what, just, what the fuck I'm why just, does a venue need to apologize because they get that much back especially in new york city come on man new york they're they the 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 push is strong there maybe the strongest so yeah they they're just they're trying to cover their asses i'm just fascinated like from a study point of like watching the show of being like, all right, he keeps doing clubs. So, and like, obviously they all sell out. Yeah. It's like, when is he like, cause promoters in theaters, they don't give a fuck if you killed your family, if you sell tickets. So like, they are going to be like, they're just, they're just like, are you ready? <laughs> like they yeah. just, oh. they just want him to be like, yeah, go ahead and like, let's do fucking Philly or let's do Long Island. And he'd sell, he'd sell big numbers. Oh, he's, that's the part I want to see. Cause I know it's, it's substantial. Well, I want to see like, like, especially the people who are like, he's done. And then they're going to be like, so the Wells Fargo center <laughs> sold out. <laughs> <laughs> like it's going to be crazy, man. Well, I, I did my European tour right after Aziz. Yeah. And <clears throat> here's, what's interesting. I don't like that. I, I hope Aziz doesn't take offense to this or whatever. I don't know. I'm sure he's, he's had worse things said about him. But um, he wouldn't let them promote for him. He wouldn't let who? The promoters. He gave them one picture they could use to promote. And it was like, it wasn't a comedy picture. It looked like he was in an alt band. Why, what, what are you why is he, he doing that? And he was like, he wouldn't do any press. He wouldn't do any interviews. He wouldn't do anything. And they sold no tickets. But Aziz was like, I don't give a fuck. You want to do shows with me? Don't promote it. I don't want to be promoted. Because he didn't want, he didn't want the backlash. Oh. He didn't want... He wanted people that wanted to see him to come to the show. I got you. It's an interesting concept because like... Yeah, it is interesting. Because, you know, I heard when, when Charlemagne and Andrew Schultz were on, um, were on Rogan, mm -hmm. Charlemagne said, yeah, I don't like promoting our podcast. They have a Brilliant Idiots podcast. He goes, I don't like promoting it. He goes, I don't want anyone to hear it. And he's like, it's fun for me. Just sit here and talk reckless and talk shit. Yeah. And I was like, that's kind of what this podcast is like. It's like, I mean, I want... I, 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 would, I like that people like it and I want people to like it. I yeah. want to give them. But you're not like, please like it. I don't want yeah. anyone to fucking find this that doesn't yeah. want to find this yeah. or doesn't get the joke. Yeah. Like, then that's where I think Aziz was like, I don't want fucking someone coming in and going like, now it's at, he's promoting himself. That's the weird thing about promoting himself. He just yourself. shot another special last month. Yeah, yeah. It's coming out. Spike Jones directed Spike it. Spike Jones directed it. Yeah, yeah. He shot four of them. I, I, you know what's fucked up is that he can't even have a really good me to take because we would have already heard it i don't know i heard it was a really good i i heard from somebody that went to one of the tapings that it was really good i, f I want him to you know that babe.net is is off the internet now what's the that website that released that article oh really now defunct oh wow cool Yeah, because people just backlash and they were like fuck you that wasn't cool i mean i think i don't know i i, I i'm hope he does well i hope that special does well i like his ease you know he's got to be like looking at fucking kumail's career going motherfucker <laughs> Because Kamel's blowing the fuck up. He's a movie star. Stu Stuber? Yeah. Is, looks hilarious. Yeah, yeah. It, it, he's looks a movie star. And look, you can say what you want, but Hollywood only gives a few lanes for people of color. And, yeah. and I mean, and so fucking, it's crazy. It's like, look at Kevin Hart, man. Like, Cat Williams brings a gun on a plane. Dave Chappelle goes to South Africa. And then all of a sudden, Kevin Hart comes out of fucking... Uh, what's the movie uh, Soul Plane? Soul Plane, yeah. Comes out of Soul Plane, and everyone's like, "Well, his career's over. Soul Plane's a bomb." Cat Williams brings a gun. Dave Chappelle goes to South Africa. Everyone's like, "Where are we?" Oh, Kevin Hart. All right, come on, let's go. 
I mean, that's, I mean, that's, I mean, that's obviously that's simple, sim, yeah, simplifying, simplifying a yeah, career, yeah. but it's like, there's not a ton of opportunities for people of color in Hollywood where there is for white guys. Yeah. There's a lot. Of, yeah. Yeah. But he's a legit movie star now. Kevin Hart. No, no. I'm talking about Kumail. Kumail is. He's a legit, movie star. Legit, dude. Yeah. I, that movie looks so fucking funny. Yeah. It's funny. And he's doing, he's doing like 10 other movies. He's lined up, man. God damn. Yeah. Good for him, man. He's always been the sweetest fucking guy. Yeah. He's a nice dude. Yeah. yeah. He was, I remember the, I remember I went on stage one time and I said, I said something, uh, oh, fucking, I don't know. I said something. Probably, it probably wasn't it, taken well, whatever you said. Very accurate on that. It was definitely in the uh, in the lane of the joke that we're playing. Yeah. It was for real. It was like, oh, I love uh, Indian guys or something. And Camille comes up and goes, first of all, I'm Pakistani, you motherfucker. <laughs> or whatever it was. Yeah. It, but he's he's a very sweet guy. He's yeah. on my podcast. He was? Guy. Yeah, yeah. I had him on my podcast. Uh, a long time ago? Or? A long time ago, yeah. He, Before um, he was super famous. Now we... He I texted I, him, though. I texted him the other day. Uh, Big Sick came out, and it was like a success. I texted him, and he was like, dude, that was very sweet of you to text me. Thank you. He, um, he and I wrote on a pilot together for Comedy Central. For real? Yeah, we were, the, we were two of the four writers. It was Jonah Ray had a pilot. What's he doing? He was, he's doing Mystery Science Theater uh, 3000, it. whatever, on, on Netflix. He's the host of that. He's always got a project. He's always got something. And uh, yeah, so Jonah hosted this show. It was like about video games, and it was Kumail, me, two other like writer producers yeah and um yeah that was years ago that also didn't get picked up in case you were wondering jonah jonah uh jonah ray i was fucking fascinated by him like for a period of time because mark maron went off on how brilliant his stand-up was and i was like i gotta see his stand-up but we never worked in the same clubs so yeah. i never got to see it he's a very nice sweet guy i'm just fascinated he's hawaiian but dude his stories about Hawaii. Yeah, he's. A I listened shit. to him on a podcast, and then I went to Hawaii. Yeah, and I I kept doing the. He go, what's what school you grad from, fucker? And and the, all the Hawaiians go, how do you know that? And I go, oh, I had a friend who grew up here, and they go, oh, we slam him hard if he didn't go to our school. And I was like, oh, Jonah must have fucking that must have been a walking hell to be like an alt PC white fucking, kid white kid into yeah. comic books and punk music yeah not into surving not he, probably, into he fucking... probably got into some shit i'm sure he's the sweetest guy though Jonah's yeah a nice he's a guy. very sweet guy um all right so how do we wrap this up how do we wrap this up do you want to make your case about the final solution <laughs> no so um so are you good with this pace people kept asking like oh you guys you guys gotta up it but we don't have time to do more than this right now this is um just, we are I, too busy. I immediately i immediately thought i want i want it once a week yeah do you want to do it once a yeah, week? yeah i think we should do it once a week because I, because i like the two i like the two a week was like a good idea for two us. a month two a month i'm yeah two a month but then immediately i was like oh i this is super easy for me to do it's fun like nine in the morning by the way i shouldn't tell everyone time this nine in the morning <laughs> just bang them out and there's it's not work it's like yeah it's really it's lighthearted. Right. I, I was definitely thinking of challenges we could do yeah when it was two when we were doing two a week i was like oh we should do who can lose the most weight in two weeks or i was like i bet you <laughs> this is like because you were like we really need to come up with a bit i was like oh i got a good bit I almost texted remember the you. challenge thing i was saying like we could like, yeah 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 i was gonna go i bet you i could untie any knot you tie quicker than you could untie any knot i tie. <laughs> I, I think you're right <laughs> I don't know why, but immediately I feel like, <laughs> I feel like that's one of your skill sets. It's like the I'm dumbest good. skill set, but I'm I feel good, like really you're good, good at tying knots. Yeah, it's like it's one of those things where like who gives a fuck? But I bet you're good at it. Do, it stinks when you're amazing at something that no one puts value on. Yeah, like untying knots. Yeah, yeah. In an apocalypse, I always think, what skill set do I bring to the camp? Yeah. Hey guys, do you guys want to hear about how ironic this is? I can do comedy and tell you about hey, what happened to Bill. We never saw him again, huh? He sounded a lot like this. Yep. No, we'll do that. All right. <coughs> up um, next, up next, next week. Watch us untie knots. Untie knots. Thick Dude, boy nation with three C's. The the, uh, the the beauty of this, of what I'm loving about this podcast, yeah. is the uncontrollableness that this it presents like there's no you can't control any of this no you can't drive the funky narrative you just come in and have a couple beers and just watch your career spiral <laughs> it's gonna be great we cannot wait to see those montages Ooh, you know what we should do i yeah. want to put we should do guests but uh special guests only yeah. well, every now and then but it's got to be comedy teams we think we can beat 
We could do that. Or first up, first up. You ready? Yeah. Uh, Mulaney and Krill. 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 You, okay. How do we beat them? And what? I don't know. We just in fucking. I don't know. We just destroy them in something. We just like fight them. I don't know. But we bring in John Mulaney and Nick. Krill. Who would you want to take in a fight? Ooh, I'll take Mulaney because we're white. It's way easier. No, we're both white. You. I bet Krill scrappier. Krill are both ethnic people. <laughs> All right, let's let's we're we'll put, we're putting a challenge out right now to John Mulaney and Nick Kroll, come fuck with us. See oh yeah, what happens. Oh, by the way, there's no there's no intro song yet for this, and we need one. So, you guys are welcome to send the intro song to hold on, and we two, both got to agree on this intro song. <laughs> yeah, but we can listen to them on the like we can listen to them. Okay, now, do not do this. Let me tell you this, just from having produced podcasts for a while. Don't send a a known beat. In other words, don't take yeah. Don't sample <laughs> actual popular music. Use original stuff only. Send it to two bears one cave at gmail dot com. That's the number two bears b e a r s. The number one cave at gmail dot com. Make it no longer than sixty seconds. Thirty to sixty seconds is perfect. This, if we choose it. We'll play when the podcast starts every episode, but we'll listen to a bunch of them. Yeah, and if you want, if you want me to enjoy your uh, mashup montages of my my uh, of whatever the fuck the beginning of this podcast sounded like, don't just post it online and then go and think I'll retweet you. That's not happening. Okay, I will watch it with Tom. No, you don't tag <laughs> Tom either. I will watch it with Tom here, and I yeah. will celebrate your brilliance here. Yeah, but I'm not going to just fucking one of the dudes who I really really like who's on Instagram, yeah. hit me up with the most racist fucking thing and was like, hey man, I made this, I thought you'd like it. And I was like, and then he, and then I didn't reply and he was like, hey, if you don't want me to post it, I won't post it. And then in my head, I was like, I'm not gonna tell an, any artist that's making anything not yeah. to post something. Yeah. Post it if you wanna post it, but I'm not gonna fucking like- Celebrate fucking, it. Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna celebrate it because I got fucking, fucking, I'm, dude, I'm trying to maintain a relationship with Big Boy and so, <laughs> Fucking Killer Mike's a buddy of mine, big boy, until they hear this fucking podcast. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, hit up what? YMH Blue Band if you want to uh, tag him in anything. Uh, follow YMH Studios on Instagram. That sh uh, shows you, like, that's inside here, all the podcasts that are made here. Follow Bert Kreischer. Go to his site, bertbertbert.com. Get tickets to the Body Shot World Tour. I'm at tomsegura.com touring with the take it down tour we're all over the place all right we'll discuss upping the podcast to every week we'll just have to work it out all right thanks buddy i love you tom love you too